last day, huh? Last day of the of the conference. We still need to pack. Still, I still need to pack, um, and then we're gonna head out, head downstairs and hit the conference. Yeah, man, I feel like uh, there was a lot of competition in the space where we at. And uh, the guys that are pres present at this conference, so B Bill uses them for his community. And they worked out a pretty good deal for uh, his community. So it's hard, to, it's hard to beat. It's hard to beat uh, what the other lenders offer. But... Um, you know what they say, right? If you can't beat them, maybe you can join them. So what I would like to do is to get get in front of those guys, get in front of those, of those lenders and uh, see maybe if, you know, we can do something together. But uh, I did I did feel like I connected with a few people and uh, scratch off cars. Car, cars, I think, uh, helped as well. So we'll see how it's going to go. I actually don't know how many people um, went through our funnel, but uh, one guy I know that I connected with already showed showed me yesterday that uh, he he actually did go through the whole game, um, and so which, which was pretty cool. So I know we already have one person, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. So, I think uh, overall, uh, the trip, the, this trip uh, was productive. Like I can personally say that uh, I learned a lot. Uh, I I feel I feel I feel like uh, I leveled up a little bit in my knowledge about uh, fix and flip space and uh, wholesaling space because this is a something that uh, I am interested in myself and uh, do this type of things in my own backyard and of course and of course the relationships that uh, I have built in the past three days I think they were amazing and the speakers were amazing as, as well so overall you know I feel good I feel good I feel good about uh, the connections I made and the and the knowledge the knowledge that I got, so now it's time to go home and uh, act upon that knowledge that uh, that I got at this conference, and reconnect with people that I connected at this conference. So, and uh, as you guys already know, we had a few marketing uh, techniques uh, that uh, I introduced at this conference. Uh, first, it was first it was balloons, right? So we had a. Uh, I still have uh, some left over. We had about ten balloons inflated for this conference. The day before, the day before conference, and it did not go well. <laughs> it did not go well because on the next day. I put them right here. You can see we still have the weight from these balloons. So I put them right here and on the next day they deflated. <laughs> so we had to come up, we had to come up with a strategy on what we could do. And I we went uh so I went I went downstairs and uh, I'm gonna show you. So we bought 
we got we got this tape and we taped the balloons to the wall right in the conference hallway so not an ideal scenario but you know we had to do we had to figure out with a way of you know do things with you know with what we had and uh so i think we probably got maybe two three people uh scanning the balloons i i, I was hoping to get a little bit more but uh maybe with with the first initial strategy maybe it could have been better but hey you you, you live and, and you learn right and the next uh, strategy that we that i introduced was uh the scratch off cards i'm gonna show you if you guys haven't seen it yet this is what it looked like All right so people could scratch over the surface get the code scan the qr code and go online put the code in and go through the funnel and see if they if they would have uh, won the the loan with no origination points uh, so we'll see how it's gonna go when i get home i'm gonna contact the company that i ordered this scratch off cards from and and uh, you know see how many people we got i think we have only one box left i think we, i distributed maybe about uh, 700 cards or so uh, stretch. yeah i don't think we're gonna do this anymore i'm gonna keep them to myself because there are going to be more events maybe soon so we can we can reuse, reuse them. I still have the whole box left. So, yeah. So we'll see. Uh, if you guys like, if you guys like that strategy, you know, give me a thumbs up. If you if you didn't, give me a thumbs down. You know, tell me why you didn't like it. Or if you if you had if you have any suggestions on uh, how you how you how you can actually come to the conference and make sure that you get known. In the conference if you have any strategies any tactics you know feel free to shoot me your suggestions and recommendations but uh but uh you know the last the last uh, two and a half days were amazing so i'm uh, really grateful that uh, i came down to san diego to attend this conference uh because you know it could be life changing. All right, peace. This bag with you. That's the one bag you have? Uh, just one. We can actually maybe have a few minutes just go and check out right away. Alright. Let's go check out. How's it going, sir? Uh, just check it out real quick. Uh, email is fine.
Um, I'm a team leader. She's on my team, and um, once we get into investing, and I'm doing some books right now. Oh, nice. I want to expand that side of my business. Yeah, and uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, looks like a, a lot of potential. Looks like a lot of potential here. Yeah. You know what would be really fun to do? I, I was joking, but we want to make a TV show. I can help you set that up. Yeah, we wanted to do a reality show. Because it's like show. between the, the drama of real estate sales and then what yeah. we do. Oh my gosh, it's so much stuff. We go through a lot. Instead of a full TV show, I can help you with the YouTube channel setup yeah. and make like a YouTube series. Yeah, a YouTube like, series. Yeah. But it would be fun to follow the projects, you know, because people yeah. really do like that. And um, I mean, it is interesting. We watch stuff like that too, right? And so anyways, I, I don't have enough brain power to do the whole before and after in the middle and let's choose what we're doing. But that would be really fun. Yeah, so it sounds love, like a so. great idea. I know, and we also, I know the realtors that are doing the same thing, so it'd be really interesting to yeah. Yeah. get to follow them. All you so much. Oh my gosh, it's so much stuff. Yeah. It's literally, it would be a TV show, and I actually know somebody who used to have a TV show on A&E, or called Flipping San Diego, and they had to make drama, like that was, it was too smooth, you know, so it was so right. funny how that worked, so I was like, we don't have to make the drama, yeah. it's just, it's already there. It's already there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I, I have a little YouTube channel. I love it. It's nothing fancy, but it, it, it people call. Right. It's, it's, just, it's a start. Yeah. Right. I know. I, I know. I, that's actually one of my goals. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where, with with ChatGPT, it's like, come on now, I can do yeah. my, my scripts. Exactly. <laughs> Were you actually yesterday in the station? Mm -hmm. It was you. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. So you you, you flipped uh, the mobile home. Yeah. That was a pretty it's impressive. Was literally. It's like, that's what, what we do. Uh, was, it like, was it a luxury mobile home or just a regular mobile? Well, it was just a regular mobile home, but we did it better than anyone's ever done it. What did so, you guys do? So, we did everything. Um, I'll show you a picture. It's a product that they deliver. And, and she's about to try to I'm sell. I'm selling one of hers right now. <laughs> that would be cool if we do like, something to bump up you. You can come to our office. We, we're in San Marcos. We have our office. This is my this is what our mobile home looks like. That's the mobile home board? Yeah. So wow. This is a nine foot island. Hey, hey. Yeah, absolutely. So Let's look at the mobile home, mobile home park that they flip. So it's a nine foot island. Nine right foot here. island. We took down nine walls. Foot? We put recessed lighting in. We did all new, cab uh, all new cabinets. We put, I always put appliances in. Everyone says, don't do that. It's wasting your money. Yeah. I, when I, as a realtor, when people walk in and they know it's staged, they, it something switches in their head, mm -hmm. but when they walk in and they feel like it's a genuinely, it's a home where there's not a well, gap that, here. That all feels of, like home when they walk in. Uh, it feels warm. It feels like warm. Yeah, that's awesome. And awesome. you know what else is the key? I swear, my magic little thing that okay, you know. It's a, there is a secret. <laughs> right now. Okay, okay. The smell. The smell. The smell made us money. It's ridiculous oh, to say. Okay, so what kind of smell do you put? Candles. There's these candles that smell relaxing, like a spa. They walk in and it like it. There's it candles. You like, get them at like TJ Maxx. Is there a brand? A specific I brand? I gotta find it. I'll tell you. But there's it's like I swear, people walk in and it's just like clean. Oh, and, calm. and it does smell too. Clean, I mean, but it's yeah. not like the fake smell. Like don't the plugins. Okay. Problem. What, what about the black eye stuff they get for cars? Oh no, that makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like really, really. But I swear, you walk in, it, it's just the smell. We had one in every little area specifically. It's, my husband loves this. Mm -hmm. It's just like light, calm smell. When they walk in, they not only does it look like nothing they've ever seen, but it smells, okay. but it smells amazing. And okay. it, it's a really, it's a subconscious thing. They walk in, it, it smells clean, not like clean, like like it's yeah. been clean, you yeah. know, like with chemicals, but it smells clean and light and relaxing like a spa. Yeah. They walk yeah. in, they want to be there. They that, they want that calm, and it's a subconscious thing. And I swear that made us like we we listed this thing for three thirty. The highest sale before was three ten. Yeah. And we sold it for three ninety five. Wow. How many offers you got? We got six offers, all cash. Wow. Because that's when they're selling their house, they have cash, they want something nice. Yeah. Everybody else is putting lipstick on a pig. So that's so people so so people sell people sell their house and yeah. they want to move into a space that is actually not as big as their house. Yeah, they run downsize, but they don't wanna but they it's don't, mostly the 55 plus, Yeah, this right? is a 55 and so, over community. Yeah, they, they, they don't, don't want to downsize, they don't want to do the work, they want convenience, and, but they want something nice. But so they like, want to also pay mortgage, so they yeah. take the equity, uh, yeah. like they sell their home, they get the equity, yeah, yeah, buy cash. Now, to go $650 a month, that's their payment. That's it. How, how much? $650 a month oh, for the, the space rent. No. Oh, just for the land? Mm -hmm. 
they pay cash, they're done. And now they have a fully, in this case, we did new roof, new, like everything. Like this was, I should show you the so, before so it's after. A, so it's a park? Yeah, in a park. Okay, so, yeah. you, so you put a space in a park. Well, we didn't move anything. We just bought in the park already. She bought the canvas, basically, and, and, and okay. fixed it up. Yeah, and so this is the whole house. Like, we staged wow. it. People are like, don't it, stage it, don't stage it. I'm like, I'm it staging does, it. It doesn't seem like it's a mobile home. No, I would live in there. <laughs> it's nicer than my house right now. And, and then the one that we're doing right now, we're going on the market, it has a pot filler. Have you ever seen one of those? No. Like, above the stove, water comes out. In a, oh. they're, they're in mansions. And well, I'm putting it in. I mean, it's not that hard to do. Yeah. But I'm just saying, what are the constructs that people expect? And yeah. like, let's just, that's let's awesome. just throw that, that out the window. Yeah. Because that's people awesome. always say, they're just like, you know, they're just little mobile home people. They don't need anything. Yeah. And I'm like, they're yeah. people just like us. Let's make it work. And it's not that expensive to do, with my husband at least. So it's like, okay. That's, so that's yeah, pretty cool. It. I mean, it does look like uh, it's bigger than my house. Yeah. <laughs> It's 1,440 square feet, and it's just 14, like... 14, 1,440. It's exactly the same yeah. as my house. <laughs> but see, like, what, but you would want to live here. Everybody, so I, now I would, I would, I would, housing, I would want to live here. No, I would too. <laughs> and it's so funny because I'm actually about to sell this one again because she's moving to Colorado, but... Um, oh, nice. Yeah, so we did all this huge stuff. The staging looks great. The back bedrooms are yeah. make walk-in closets. Yeah. Um, okay, this one is my favorite. This this room before was disgusting, but we reconfigured it and made it like flow better. Yeah. You know, so this is our master bathroom, and so yeah, it works out. There so, we go. Hey, I mean, <laughs> I would, I want to start the fix and flipping in my area where I am from, um, and it seems like you guys have a pretty good idea and the creativity. Do you mind if I pick your brand from time to time? Sure. I got your card the other day. Hey brother, how are you? I saw you walking there, so I was like, yeah, man. Give me a call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. You, 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 you have my phone number? Yeah, yeah, I have it, yeah. I think so. Uh, uh, did you get my phone number? Yeah, I got it. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay. First name. First name, last name. Okay, yeah, yeah. What's your phone number? I got this. <laughs> What's up, man? Doing good? Yeah, man. You? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's gonna talk hey, good, about man. it. Maybe it's I should run out the room. It's a great, it was a great talk, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate it. How long have you been an instructor for the uh, for the seven figure flipping? How, I'm just starting this year, so I'll, this will be the first year of the laser coaching with seven. Okay. So yeah. I've been in the group for about five years now. Are you, you, yeah. So are you, are you also like a fix, are you also fix and flipping and the wholesaling or? Yeah, I, I do. I flip. Yeah. What market? What market? I, uh, Colorado. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't wholesale it. I do uh, over in Washington State on the uh, dry desert side of the mountains. So oh, that's right. We're yeah. talking about Tri Cities. Yeah. You go yeah. Seattle. That's right. Yeah. Now, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, kind of in between, but not too far from Spokane. Yeah, about two and a half hours from Spokane. Yeah. About 300,000. It's a smaller market. We push out about 60 miles each direction, so like toward, there's like a little town up there, Walla Walla, and then up through the valley, towards Spokane, towards Seattle direction, but not over. Not over. What a great freaking mark. How long have you been there? Well, I was born and raised there. I've been flipping full time there for about 10 years. Woo! I'm not early adopter, first in. That must have been, oh, that's a good poster to go like for a girl uh, we get them everywhere. So we get them from uh, MLS has actually opened up for us. Whereas, like, what a year and a half ago, you could get a zone to save your life, right? Off the MLS. So we get them off MLS. We get a lot of referrals. Right, get agents trying to fight for one another. They're looking for still people from the MLS. Yeah, yeah. Well, not just still ones, but honestly, even brand new ones. We'll jump in if something goes on. If something comes out um, an hour or so later, we'll try to be the quickest to it, and we'll put an offer on. And um, and then if uh, if we come back, you know, a month later, and say they reject our offer a month later, we might go back two months, three months. We might go back and talk to them again and follow up and see if they have a change of heart on it, mm -hmm. or telling their agent, well, hey, they changed their mind, get back with us. And then we do our own marketing as well. We do referrals uh, where bring us a deal with eighty two thousand bucks, which has been really really good. 
Um, what did you think of this presentation? You liked it a lot. We're all, we're all I, 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 I did not like it. No, I'm kidding. No, I know you are. <laughs> but then, if we, uh, if somebody brings us a deal and we're able to close it, we'll pay two thousand dollars for that deal, and then we take the big promotional check. And as we give them that check, we take a picture of it. We use that big promotional check and photo of them uh, to promote that and get people see it. So we'll post it on our Facebook page or social. Media and people get excited, like, yeah, yeah, she's got 2,000 bucks. Right. So, contractors. I knew, I knew that was going to be a yeah. Yeah. shortage. Yeah. Yep. Prices on everything are going up. And so, uh, really knowing your numbers and staying on top of those has been, has been something that we really needed to do. Uh, a very small team. Yeah, very small team. Uh, as far as on my payroll, I've got uh, uh, one gal, Susan, that works for me. And I always say that everybody needs a Susan because she does everything for me. Like, she's an absolute rock star. She's actually my sister in law. Oh, okay. and, um, which is really pretty cool. Most people say, like, don't ever do that. Well, it's probably true, but I think I just got my email. Um, but anyhow, uh, and I have a project manager, and then I have, we have our own construction crew, a very, very small one, but I've kind of gotten away from that. We're dealing with GCs and stuff just because, like, babysitting our own people. So I have the same thing in Detroit, right? Okay. So it took me long to, you know, I hired all the regular contractors. They all got fired. They couldn't show up. Whatever the deal is. Yeah. So finally I get a Mexican crew, right? And they get another Mexican crew. And they are freaking bad. And now they want to be the GC because they see the gravy. You know, right. Like, you know, you gotta be, we got to build in our thing, right? Yeah. Even though there are guys and they're great, they still screw up. It still goes long, right? So you don't want to get... So I developed a price sheet and I talked to Andy McFarland's partner, Tyler. Okay. And he said, I said, well, what's the scale with the construction? I got all my business. I have all the business and money and all that. And, and he said, well, what we did was we just went to a contractor based model. Whether you're a contractor or not, if you're just a little five man team that needs to work for us, this is my guy. So here's the price list. Mm -hmm. Here's how much it is. Here's the deal. Yeah. You go, go look at the house if you want, whatever. This is what we pay. You guys now be the GC. Kind of like, kind of like you're doing the step, but don't ace off your little team. If you figure there's a leader there that you can make the GC, even if he doesn't have, I mean, I don't know about licenses and all that where you're at. Right. Right. None of that shit. It's right. It's cowboy scout. Oh, really? Yeah. We have no permits, no licenses, no nothing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's like, that sounds right. good. But, but it's like a hundred thousand dollar house. It's in the hood. So it's okay. not like what yeah. you're talking about. So that's the how I'm going to scale. So I just gotta give up the gravy, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah. give up that sometimes gravy that yeah. doesn't always come. Right. And just so now they just got three weeks to get the job done. It's twenty two thousand dollars. Blah nice. blah, and that's it. That's awesome. And I buy all, you know, like he said, he goes, we buy all the materials. Uh -huh. Right. You know what? You know, we have a material list. I gotta yeah. do all that work. Right. One time, mm -hmm. and then, and then, I, and then all I gotta do is walk in and measure the house. Yeah. Okay. Get somebody to do it. Yeah. Because all our rehabs are. You're actually going to. You, so I you, know. So you know. I don't, but I don't get like material. Super high. Very rare. Because I still sometimes there's some there's, there's, there's stuff that I need to find weird and stuff. After listening okay. for a really long time, most people yeah, know, open the crack, and ninety percent of the time it works. I grab a wow. three hundred bucks a bucket. Really like, oh my god, it's so expensive. Really yeah. Dig up the outside of the house, put all the plastic like a new yeah. foundation. Yeah. Tell me how expensive that is. So, so if it makes that's sense, a, yeah. Where, where do you sleep? We'll Detroit. Detroit. All right. What's the average size uh, of the uh, property? Uh, what do you, you buy? Buy a house for anywhere from twenty five hundred to forty grand, and yeah. put twenty five yeah. grand into it for the hundred. Yes. Seventy okay. to a hundred, yeah. hundred twenty five. Yeah. Rents for thirteen hundred. Yeah. So are you? Yeah. Are you? Um, are you keeping them? So you you, you do BRRR, okay. Sergio? Well, kind of. Yeah. I, yeah. I have a I have a part I have a partners group that has all this money. We do BRR for them. Okay. And so I get the construction piece and if I find the house. And so it's, he's got all his internals. And then we get a little equity slice on the back. And then now I'm okay. flipping my own houses on the side for six or eight a year to retail because now there's this weird retail pocket. I mean, can, can, can you can you say 
How, That's can you sell it? I'll tell you. I'll tell you uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, saying, I'll, I found this little anomaly pocket where I could probably buy houses for twenty-five, put fifty into them, sell them for buck twenty-five, like, and have a waiting list. No way. Yeah. Oh, did you really? So how fast do you turn them? You're in the in three months. Four months. If it takes me, it takes awesome. me more than a month, I'm gonna be pissed That's off. Awesome. I love wow. the rehab, and then, but I'm going to build a buyer's list. It's a little, so all the Mexicans in our town, all the Latins are moving. Really one place has gotten really too expensive, so they took over this crushed like fucking neighborhood. I mean, half the neighborhood's fucked. But the other half of the neighborhood, three quarters of that part, is all over by Latinos that go to the yeah. church on the block. Yeah. And I know those guys because they work for me. So yeah. now I'm going to go buy houses. And they, and they tell me all the time, not all of us have money. Yeah. Because they all buy houses for 2000 to fix them up. So, but all their friends that have money and real jobs, like they don't have time to do that. They just want to buy houses. So, do, do you do uh, uh, rent to own or? I don't, but I but if we would do financing. But you, you, you just sell you just sell finance. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. oh. those guys are got those guys are going to have ten or fifteen. You, you just you know, the local natives yeah. never have that much money. Yeah. Those guys already have them. Okay. And everybody knows the Mexicans. The Latins will pay. You know, they, they got, they got killer reputation. Yeah. I mean, they, 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 you know, they're pretty good at, uh, you know, taking care of their houses and, uh, yeah. Right. I'm, uh, so I'm from NorCal. I'm uh, just outside of the San Francisco. Right. Yep. And, uh, East Bay, uh, I mean, Guerneville up in there, or on the other side, Sacramento, going towards South? South. Oh, so, South? Like Peninsula. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, like a San Mateo County. Yeah, okay. You know what it is? Well, like South Peninsula, so you mean Mountain View, Palo Alto, going that way, or uh, you mean more like... Yes, that way, but closer to San Francisco. Oh, okay. So, it's like, uh, I, live in, I live in Bailey City. Oh, I know. Oh, Daly City. I know. You know Daly City? Oh, hell yeah. Huh? I grew up in Seattle, so we used to go to San Francisco all the time. Okay, so I, party. I know right where Daly City is. <laughs> So, I mean, it's, it's, it's been growing a lot. Like, you know, I didn't know it could grow. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the city, I mean, it already had houses everywhere except the cliff. I'm sure they built on the cliff already. Was that you that built the cliff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but, no, I mean, like, in terms of the, I mean, the, the there has been some new construction going on. Like, uh, San Francisco had a big Mercedes dealership. Now it moved to Delhi City. It's like a... You know, a lot of things that are going in San Francisco are moving outside of the San Francisco, and some of them are moving, moving to Daly City. So I mean, so, so it's been good. So it's been really good. So it's been it's been good. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I'm actually looking. Well, I have my own company, White to Land, and it's a hard money lending business. Uh, but uh, I'm looking to fix and flip where I am, and uh, or wholesale, or wholesale. So that's why I'm actually at this conference. You know, learn, level up, uh, build relationships. Yeah, of course. And uh, you know, I mean, you know, you know, like what, it's like what they, re what, what you really heard was, uh, you can do it anywhere if you learn your market. You know, just like the one guy that's doing. The, I mean, look at those million dollar houses. And like, you yeah. make a hundred and seventy thousand. Now that's what you can make, right? With the right thing. I'm looking at that. I'm like, I can do two of those a year and make as much money as I do all these. Yeah. But I don't really want to learn again, fight again, and I'm in a great position. Oh, you know, my, my if you if you find if you find if you found your own niche, you know, you can just sit there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Right? You got it. I'm a shiny object guy. You know, I think that. But, but those are the numbers for you. That number is exactly what he said and how he figured out the how he did the math on look at the things and now okay then yeah. it went to three percent and these guys that have money um, no, that's that's if I were you I would be taking that guy out to do I was I was actually taking notes I'm going to borrow the money from you feel free when when I have money yeah, so no, I know. we usually we usually get tapped out a lot I bet so but you know hey you know you know I know. So, uh, but it's cool, man. Yeah. It's, uh, yes. you, you found your niche. That's, that's awesome. What my favorite, one of my favorite things about about San Francisco is a restaurant right. called the House of Nan King. Oh, that's a good place. Yeah, right down the street from City Lights Bookstore. Not a, as good as the old man's not there anymore. He has his own fancy restaurant downtown. <laughs> it's an amazing restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool, man. Oh, congrats on your success. Yeah, you too.
Exactly. I got your card, right? You're the guy with the scratch off? Yeah, but that's not really a card. Like, until you, you won't see my phone number until you complete all the steps. So, uh, so if you did all the steps, then, you, you, then you'll see my phone number. I haven't done it yet. It's in the pile. So, want to so, get but, so there is no phone number. If you want to get my phone number, I can give it to you. I'm good. I'll do the steps. All right. So, man. Do your work. Thank you, man. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How are you? Good, good. Oh, that's a awesome. lending guy. Yeah, I got the card on my. Uh, yeah, I got you in the email. I'm gonna reach out to you. Uh, fund in uh, New York. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it depends on how uh, big the, how big the loan is. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right. You, you, you flip you flip in New York? Okay. Okay. Just in New York, New York, or outside? No, outside, like um, Hudson Valley, like you know, the suburbs, pretty like the four counties outside of the you know, city. So they're probably between uh, 400 and 700? Yeah. I'm yeah. buying these houses, you know, less than that. You know, I've been doing a lot of short sales, getting into the bank, so usually buying it in between, you know, 180 and, and uh, you know, 300, and then uh, rehab budget is usually like 100. Is it Ario? What's that? Is it uh, Ario? From the bank, you said? No, short sales. Short sales? So you have to wait six six months or so? They say, yeah, they say they take a lot of time, but you know, luckily I have a lot in the works. So, like, one literally just got a um, bank sector offer two days ago. So, working on it. That's an interesting strategy. So, you're just doing short, uh, uh, you're just doing uh, uh, short, short one? Yeah, I mean, the market in most of it is foreclosures, and in New York, it's just a state, they're in pre foreclosure for a while, so they're mostly underwater. So, you know, I work out something with the homeowner to get them some money, and then I work out something with the bank. That's an interesting strategy. Yeah. Nice. It's working out so far, so. Hey, you don't have to change things if, you, if it's right. working for you, right? Don't fix it, right? Exactly. Yeah. But it's cool, man. So, uh, what is the typical, so you buy for about uh, 180? And then uh, put uh, about a hundred. Yeah, like I said, between one eighty and two fifty, you usually buy it, and you know, usually rehab budget is about a hundred. Okay. And uh, what's the Airbnb look like? So I don't usually cut it short unless I can make a hundred thousand. So the Airbnb is usually between. Get those offers. Um, so one right now, I have this on the market for six twenty five. Um, put that three hundred, put a hundred into it. The one I'm working on now with that two twenty from the bank, put uh, ninety, which we're gonna end up being like ninety five into it. And list that one for like seven hundred. The one I did uh, last year was for one sixty, put one hundred fifteen into it, sold it four fifty. So four hundred fifty, right? Okay, that's awesome. Four hundred, yeah. That's amazing. How many you do uh, of those per year? Um, so the goal is to like to do is like you know get five of those a year. So last year I did one. This year right now I got these two um, two going, and uh, like I said, we're going to be closing on in November. So we'll start that one. Uh, also, uh, that's awesome, man. Um, how did the days in the market change? Yeah, so it's um, changing right now. So when I got on the market now, it's been uh, it's been like two months on the market since that break drop. Okay. Um, I usually they sell within uh, what time here? Yeah, I mean, if I had one, the last one I did, literally we put it on the market Sunday. We had two showings on Tuesday. And one of the first two people gave us a full price asking all this. Wow. Usually it was, you know, yeah, about you know, whatever, 15 days maybe. What 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 what, you, what do you think uh, the what what do you think uh, happened between that sale and this, other sales? Yeah, this one, so it's a you know it's a real good area, real good roads. When we bought it, there wasn't a lot of houses for sale there. It's a great school district, so I thought it was all quick. But now you know from the time we bought it, it was a probate property, and you know, two months fixing it. Um, you see there's a lot more houses for sale in Campbell Hall in that area. So I think you know, we got more competition now. So okay. yeah, I think this is time, you know, time of the year. It's just kind of showing, but you know, I don't know, kids start no school. I don't know. But. Hey yeah, man, well, that's still awesome, man. You know, it's that you know you are out there doing it. You see the results, right. and uh, keep keep going, man. Can I scan? That I'm trying to go, and then I have like multi-family mastermind that. Uh, oh.
that I also kind of pay attention to. And I do want to start fixing flip in my own backyard. Okay, gotcha. So, as like a part of part of part of the reason why I'm here is uh, to learn, uh, you know, level up. Uh, even though we, like we give money to you know fix it uh, to uh, flippers uh, to fix uh, the uh, houses and then sell it. Like uh, I want to start doing this on my own as well. Okay. So I'm, I know the lending side, but uh, I want to. I want. I want to learn the. I want to learn the other side. Yeah. And yeah. It's kind of just about like finding a house on a good, good basis, and then figuring it out over there. Because if you buy it right, then you might not know the construction. You might not know the construction cost. But if you know yeah. that you bought something for significantly less than what the market around it is, like your Airbnb, you'll be fine. Because you can always dictate your rehab budget. Like let's say. Okay. Let's say you buy something for six hundred thousand, or yeah, your area. Let's say six hundred thousand, and you know everything else in the area sells for eight hundred thousand. You already know your building cost as a lender, like what that's going to cost is on the hardware side. Yeah. So it's like okay, I know that, and I know the like utility bills are around like two hundred a month or whatever. So these are my holding costs. Now I have like this rehab budget. Yeah. It's gonna make or break what where my profit number is. It's no. Like, okay. Like I redid the kitchen. I redid some of the bathrooms. That cost me sixty grand. Do I put in a hundred grand or do I put it at sixty grand? Or like what's what's gonna sell this at that price and where where should I scamper now? No. And that's what something that you find out over time. And you're probably going to know in the first one, but hopefully you hire a good GC that can kind of help you and tell you those things. Yeah, so, totally. Yeah. Okay. And I haven't really done one either myself, but I have a partner as well, and he's more on the construction and the project management side. So. Okay. Yeah. How do you, how do you plan to um, uh, uh, get into it? Like, uh, you have sources uh, to find a deal right now? To find a deal? I mean, I do acquisitions for a living. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll, I'll be There's so many different ways to find it. Like, what, what comes to your mind as a, as a first step? You can network with realtors who don't, I would say, I would advise find realtors who don't invest in real estate. All they do is real estate, but they just transact. That's it. Okay. Because then you know they're not pocketing the good deals. Mm -hmm. Because if they're pocketing the good deals, that's the deal that you want. <laughs> so I find uh, realtors, I mean, wholesalers, it's the same kind of thing where they're usually not doing the deals until, unless they're really like high volume guys. Like these yeah. guys are wholesaling 300 a year. Like if you, got, you find a guy who's wholesaling like, let's say 50 a year, like 30 to 50 a year, mm. they're probably not pocketing. Yeah, deals. So you're still getting good deals, but the only thing about wholesalers is they're taking some of your profit right off the top. Right. So I don't like the concept of using wholesalers unless they're stupid and they don't know what they're doing and their their thought on what the value is is actually less. But usually it's more. So okay. That's okay. that's where it's tougher. So, yeah. 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 And uh okay. So then, awesome man. And then you can go off market. Literally Go walk the streets. This shit, this house is a piece of shit. And all the ones near it are pretty nice. Mm -hmm. They potentially sell it to me. Yeah. Walk on the door and have a genuine conversation. Hey, it's in the neighborhood, yeah. and I love this area, and was wondering if you buy your house from me. Yeah. But yeah, I, I would be like, you know, like maybe give me a day or two to like so you can go run around. Just like, can I come back tomorrow and give you the yeah. offer? Yeah. That's, that's a good advice. I like it's just it. like figuring it out a little bit day by day. I like it. There's so many different, like you could spend hella money. Like there's people that spend 50 grand a month and blast like flyers or mm -hmm. email, like online, Google ads, like sell, sell your house for cash in 10 days. Like give me, give me your money now. Yeah. So there's so many ways to go about it. You just got to like, that's what, that, where you here all, all three days. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like a blonde kid. Like pretty like 
Uh, he's doing really well. He's seven hundred thousand. They said. Uh, oh, the pre for pre foreclosures. Yeah, pre foreclosures. So yeah. that's exactly what, that's exactly what he said he was struggling. He had like five different ways he was going about generating leads. How do I change? I need to. I'm, what I'm doing, my yeah. process isn't working. I went through my hypothesis. Okay, out of the things that I was doing, this was probably the best. I'm going to focus only on that. So there's so many different ways to buy a house. He just, just decided to choose one and become a master. And now he's making a second. So it's like, I can do it too. You just got to. Yeah. Do it, kind of thing. What, what do you think you're going to be focusing on? Or what, what, what type of uh, uh, houses? Single family homes. Single family? Yeah, so I probably won't go down homes or condos or anything like that. Okay. Like the actual houses. And, um, yeah, I have to build my, that's building and fire box. Like, what exactly do you want to focus on? And, I don't have that down to exact science yet, but I'll, I'll come up with that criteria. I want okay. bigger, bigger properties, so I think I'll have like a thousand square feet minimum, three bed, two bath, or the p potential to mm. disfigure the house to become at least a three bed, two bath. Are uh, you thinking to go for uh, luxury uh, homes? or For the first one, probably not, just because higher risk, higher reward, but yeah. your first doing your first one, I don't think so. Maybe the second or third one, yeah. Okay. I'm I'm fine with being a little bit more opportunistic, changing the layout of the house, stuff yeah. like that. You have the right contractor and team to be able to do it. Do it. Yeah. I think contractors is the biggest factor. Like I've been talking to uh, multiple fix and flippers. Uh, the biggest challenge right now is just contractors. It's always a challenge, like having a finding or using a good contract. But I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty I'm pretty surprised to hear that because uh, in the market where are we where are we in right now, uh, either people don't have a good deal flow or they can't they can't really sell the property. Yeah, that's you right. Know, right. So but, but the guys uh, that do a lot of deals are still doing deals that yeah. their contractors. Yeah. Do. Yeah. But that's the hard thing because you're trying to go in and steal a good contractor that's doing like a lot of deals with someone and you're going to be like, I'm going to give you one deal. And they're like, I don't care shit, dude. This <laughs> ten. Yeah. So that's that's where it's tough. I mean, it's, it's economies of scale. Yeah, totally. Totally. So. But, uh, you know, one day, right? Yeah. And I mean, I, I don't have a contract. But, I don't have that guy that's like a rock solid guy yet. That's somebody that I need to add to my team very quickly. Yeah. So. Are you at, you attend the local meetups? No. Not really. I don't have time. I have my whole full time day job, and I'm trying to build and scale like my systems and processes right now of what I want to do, how to do yeah. it. And, uh, well, since you're more on the development side, I think uh, you you know lots of people who actually do construction. Yeah, I mean, I I have a network of a lot of people that do a lot of different things and it's yeah, just so. going to be at the end of the day like which one's right for me which ones have the same the same mentality mindset morals even yeah, so finding the right partner right not just the partner but the right partner because yeah, no. at the end of the day like who you work with matters no. like, who your headaches are or not yep. change change that, so. yeah totally yeah i'd rather not have headaches yeah. I'd rather have seamless, like, man, you just added 10 grand of value. Thank God I'd be working with you. <laughs> like, I'd rather have those yeah. moments than the, why do I have to always deal with this? I know, right? So, yeah. That's where I'm at. <laughs> so, yeah, that's good, man. I mean, uh, you're taking the first steps, you know, that's important. Yeah. No, yeah. So, so, we're well, not even there yet. I'm still figuring out something. No, I mean, you're here. Yeah. You already took the first step, you know? Yeah. So, exactly. Yeah. So the next step is just uh, right. finishing doing some of my background stuff, getting things ready. Yeah. Let's go, man. Well, nice meeting you, man. Yeah, great to meet you. Yeah. Let me run the rest of the right. Cheers. Yeah. So it's very interesting uh, to um, to talk to different uh, people who are just starting out or who have done already a thousand flips, believe, believe it or not. 
and uh, it's a uh, it's interesting to see the mindset of those people like who are just starting out uh, versus people who have started a long time ago and I think this is uh, the right this is the right spot for people who want to start doing fix and flips or wholesale because you, know, you surround yourself with exactly the same people who have exactly the same mindset so in order for you to level up you know just go to this type of events uh, meet a lot of people talk to them and learn from them and maybe even partner, partner up with them and level up It looks like the conference is over. We are gonna go to the airport. And what what can I say? I think it's been very productive. I met lots of great people. I learned a lot. I feel like I leveled up. And uh, I will be connecting after the conference with a few people and we'll see what we can do together. All right, we'll see you guys soon.